Follow this guide to change a teensy board for the Azeron Classic or Compact. For this guide, you will need hex screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, tweezers. Unplug the keypad. Unscrew these screws using the hex screwdriver. Remove the palm rest. Unscrew these screws that hold the casing using the hex screwdriver. Do not remove it right away. You have to remove the wires that connect the LEDs to the Teensy board and ground distribution block. Take a picture of these wires so you can reconnect them correctly later on. Note that the black ground wire might be connected to another slot of the ground distribution block. You can connect it to any free slot of the block. Unscrew these screws using the flathead screwdriver. Do not unscrew them completely out. Remove the wires and the casing. Unscrew these screws to release the teensy board. Locate each tower's wires connected to the teensy. These wires must be connected to the specific slots of the teensy. Be aware that each tower has a black ground wire that must be connected to the ground distribution block. Take a picture of the wires so you can reconnect them correctly later on. Unscrew the screws using the flathead screwdriver. Do not unscrew them completely out. Repeat the process for all the towers, thumbstick module, profile button, and escape button. Be aware that Azeron Compact has two buttons less than Classic, thus Tower 2 and 1 each have one wire less.
Disconnect the Teensy board from the ground distribution block. Leave the wire connected to the block. Take another Teensy. Connect the Teensy board to the ground distribution block with the black wire by using the flat screwdriver. Refer to your photos and connect the tower's wires to the Teensy board and ground distribution block. The black ground wires can be connected to any free slot of the ground distribution block. The screws must be contacting the bare wires and not the insulation. Now gently put the Teensy board back into place. Do not break off the reset button. Make sure that the reset button on the bottom of the Teensy board lines up with the corresponding slot on the base. Use the hex screwdriver to tighten these screws that hold the Teensy. 
Once the wires are secure, double check them with a very light pull to make sure they are attached. Put on the casing. Make sure the paracords go in corresponding openings and are not strained. Otherwise, you might not be able to adjust the towers later on. Take a flathead screwdriver. Use your reference photos and reconnect the LEDs. The screws must be contacting the bare wires and not the insulation. Once the wires are secure, double check them with a very light pull to make sure they are attached. Tighten these screws using the hex screwdriver. Plug the keypad into the PC and make sure all the keys, thumbstick, and five-way switch are working. If not, check the connections, referencing the photos you have taken earlier. Remember to unplug the keypad before troubleshooting. Use the hex screwdriver to reinstall the palm rest. Be sure not to squeeze any wires while doing so. Enjoy your keypad!